So let's watch what happens when we first turn on the Mega Tracker. So first we see a little splash screen. Load the settings from EEPROM and then reset the motor. Wasn't far from being reset already. So, first time setup. Want help? Yes, let's look at the help. So, there's the mode, setting the latitude and longitude. When we set the motor limits, to find the motor pulse resolution and get the measurements so we can do the tri trigonometry to calculate the angle and of course we need to align the angles as well. That's pretty much it. So we're ready, let's go. Dual axis tracking, yes, we just choice yes or no. Digital, we can either be analog, we're using light sensors or astronomical digital mode, yes, doing that with both axes. Smart PV is for with analog sensors. We're not using that. Um, auto rise, yes or no. Now this means it'll automatically start tracking when the sun rises. We could have also have a scheduled event or manually start if we didn't want to automatically start. So now we've got set the uh, latitude. You see, I can just maneuver to the desired location. Enter in value. If I try to enter in an illegal value like 198, it tells me the maximum is 180. Okay, I'm going to go with uh, 98 degrees. Wait, let's make that a, there's a minus 98 degrees. Okay, now we're ready for the motor axis configuration. Let's look at the help for it. So we're just going to select the motor driver type. Tell it what our linkage is, whether we're using an actuator arm or a gear setup. We need to define the mount geometry, azimuth, polar, horizontal tracking. And then lastly, we'll define which direction uh, the motor, when it retracts, uh, which way the system turns to the east or to the west. So, ready? Let's go. So, forward backwards motor driver type is what's used by our our standard uh, HB2 motor driver. So, the other possibilities are an enable and direction where the enable has to be on for the motor to run and whether the direction is is zero or positive will we'll, control the motor direction. There's also an enable and separate forward and backward uh, lines for some mo motor driver types and also enable forward backwards and with a current sensing capability. So these are the possible motor driver types that can be inter interfaced uh, with, with the Mega Tracker. So we're going to select the basic forward backwards type. Now linkage can be arm or gear. We're using actuator arms here. Uh, azimuth, polar, horizontal, we're going to go with polar. When the motor retracts here, it actually goes to the, to the west. And that finishes the motor configuration. Now we're ready to do our, our limit test. Okay, let's go for the help. So, step one, we're, of course we adjust our min minimum length if needed. Then we'll set the max motor position. Um, adjust the limit switch if necessary there and uh, save the result we're done so um, 